setting records. Cliff diving is a real test of human capability. Massive dive, oh my lord. Unstoppable, unmatchable. It is staring your fierce straight in the face. Five tens. It's a competition, it's a world series. You have to do your best dives. Yeah, buddy, that's how you do it. It's like no other sport in the world. Taking a deep breath and making that leap. That is what you call a rip entry. The entry is that last moment of the dive. When I speak about fear of height, I'm not actually afraid of the height, I'm actually afraid of the impact with the water. We're defying the laws of physics, hitting the water at speeds of up to 80 kilometers an hour without making a splash. The impact with the water is really strong. We accelerate from zero to 85 kilometers an hour before we hit the water. And by the time we hit the water until we stop, it's really quick. There's a lot of deceleration and, and that makes the impact really hard on the body. The entry is the final part of the dive. Everything already happened in the air and now is the final moment. Ideally, very little splash, hopefully in a very vertical position, and that means it's a successful dive. In Hawaiian tradition, they had two types of diving. One was lele kava. Lele kava was diving and making no splash. And they also had lele pahu, and that was diving and making a big splash. And it actually, it goes to whatever people like, you know, sometimes you do a dive and you make a big splash and people go like, yay! But to us, you know, we're looking for perfection, so we're going for the no splash. The landing, it's your core muscles that are going to keep your body tight when you're hitting the water. If your core body is not strong enough, your legs can come apart, your back can completely fold in two. So these muscles need to be completely solid so that you're not moving an inch on that moment of impact. I think Rees learned so quick because of her background is Trampolining, and trampolining, it's always to your feet. Every move that you do finishes with your eyes looking at the mat and placing your feet into the right position. And this translates so well to cliff diving. You're, you're doing the same thing, you're spotting the water and bringing your feet down to it. You need to be doing things without even thinking about them. Most of the time when it's a good entry, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like you're that tight and it's just like you're so tense going through. Uh, but usually, you know, you have a sense of underwater of how the entry's gone, but you don't actually know because you can do a perfect entry and it still pulls you around under the water and it still hurts a lot. It's such a nice feeling to have all that, those feelings and then hit the water and everything just goes silent as you slice through the water such a cool feeling to do like a, a proper vertically deep entry. It kind of just is like a, a white noise and then nothing. For me, it's something that took me a long time to, to get used to. And I very quickly had a set of difficult dives, but I just couldn't get the entries. It was just something that really I struggled with. And uh, this is just something that experience brings. You, you can't learn that anywhere else apart from, from cliff diving. I'm just struggling finding the bottom on that back twist. On the entry, you have to be like more strong because it's waves and anyway, it's like under the water, you like, <laughs> goes like this. Just caught an, an up wave on my entry, so my dive was a little short. I, I didn't score too well, so of course, I'm not too happy about this.
If there was no impact, I wouldn't be afraid of, of the height. But uh, what I'm actually afraid of is how hard the water is going to hit me if I make a mistake. The dive is looking okay, but it looks like I just give too much rotation. You can see I'm trying to pull my arms back to see if you can kind of stall the rotation a little bit. And, but as the dive continues, you see I'm trying to stop. It's just no, no chance over there. <laughs> Keep trying, but then the vertical is just gone. The whole body, you see, like my shoulders should stay and go through this first hole you open here. Now the shoulders are rolling back and the rest of my body is just gonna keep traveling that way and hit the water. You see the huge splash. It's just not what you wanna do in a dive. You pop your head up and uh, it either goes one way or the other. You know, you have a lot of people cheering or it's kind of a, ooh, when you look around and go, or maybe that wasn't as good as it felt, you know? So you just never know. On the very bad ones, you'll know. Yeah, <laughs> like you're not, you're not looking for anything else. If it's really bad, then you're, you're getting straight to where you need to be. <laughs>